Hey guys, today's video I am going to be making a crock pot meal, a cookie recipe, and a kids craft. This is a new series on my channel and this is the first episode so I'm so excited about it and today we are making Mississippi pot roast. Now I'm just throwing a, I believe it was three pound chuck roast, frozen actually, in the crock pot. I was like not sure about it being frozen but it turned out perfectly. It didn't take extra time to cook or anything like that, so highly recommend that if you accidentally forget to thaw your meat like I did. But this recipe, I know it's a fan favorite, and I had never tried it, and I'm so glad that I finally did. It is so good, guys. Um, one thing that I thought was kind of funny is I never knew that pepperoncinis are spicy, and I didn't find out until I tried testing the, <laughs> the food. So if you aren't into spicy food like me definitely don't go too crazy on the pepperoncinis but honestly the amount that I put was great like it had a little bit of a kick and it gave a lot of flavor but it wasn't overpowering so anyways I'm just putting ranch seasoning and then a beefy I think it was beef onion soup packet in there some people use just like regular onion soup some people use au jus so it's really up to you whatever you want to try that was just what my Walmart pickup had but as you can see I put a decent amount of pepperoncinis in there. I literally had no idea they were spicy. I thought they were like banana peppers. Um, but like I said, it really wasn't bad. But if you don't like any kind of spice, really, I would definitely cut that in half. I added a little bit of chicken stock. I did that just because it felt weird putting this all in there with no liquid. Um, it really wasn't necessary, though. I will say it's really up to you. I didn't put a lot, but as uh, as it cooks, it will kind of get its own moisture and stuff, um, which you will see later on. So I am putting the crock pot on high. I think I turned it down to low at some point, but typically crock pot meals, you either put them on high for like four to five hours or you put them on low for like seven to 10. It really depends. Um, I just highly recommend always checking on your food in the crock pot every couple hours just to make sure, you know, it's not drying out, burning, um, or if you need to turn the heat up or whatever. But I think I had mine on high for like, six hours or seven hours or so um, and I ended up turning it down at some point but I just went ahead and started shredding up the roast and I also took some big fatty chunks out because the uh, cut of meat I had had a lot of fatty chunks but they were pretty big it was easy to take out it really wasn't a big deal um, and I was actually shredding it before it was really super tender I was just trying to shred it a little bit uh, but as you can see, it looks so good. It's like absorbing all that deliciousness. It is so good. And what I decided to serve it with was mashed potatoes. It, it was amazing. I'm not even a roast girl. My husband and I both, we don't really, it's not that we don't like roast, but we don't ever prefer to eat it. Like if someone makes it, we'll eat it, but we don't just want roast. But this we're obsessed with. I will be making this again for us soon and we love it. I highly recommend trying it out. And I would totally serve this with vegetables as well. We just really didn't have any. <laughs> Next up, we are making some avalanche cookies. These are so good. I can't believe I've never made these in my life. These are a no-bake cookie. They are so easy and they are kid-friendly. As you can see, my son wanted to help me. And all you need is marshmallows, Rice Krispie cereal, a bag of white chocolate chips, and some milk chocolate chips or semi-sweet, whatever you like. And I really wish I had mini, but here I just had regular size, but I highly recommend getting mini. So this recipe is super easy. I will list it down below. I'm going to go ahead and just play some music, let you guys watch. They are so simple and so good. And then after the cookies are done, we will check out our first Christmas craft.
As you can see, these cookies turned out so cute. I put some M&Ms, some sprinkles. You can really do whatever you want, but I'm telling you, they're so good. My husband and I were like, why have we never made these? And they're so simple. I love no-bake cookies. And we're going to go ahead and jump into our first Christmas craft of the year. Now, these are supposed to be just little ornaments that you use pipe cleaners and beads. You could obviously use any kind that you want, but this was, I don't want to call this a fail per se because Cash didn't really enjoy doing it. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of you mamas know if you do crafts or activities with your kids, they don't always come out the way you hope or they don't always come out, come out Pinterest worthy, I guess you could say. But he still had a lot of fun. Now, to make sure that you don't have a little fail like I did, you need to get pipe cleaners that are way more sturdy. These are from the Dollar Tree, and I don't think they're actually for... I don't think they're, they're not actually like normal pipe cleaners that are really sturdy. I think they're more like for something else. I'm not really sure, but they, I could not make a shape out of them. They just didn't have enough sturdiness to shape them out. And it was really difficult. I was getting kind of frustrated with it, but Cashin thought it was still so cute. Like my star is so bad guys. <laughs> Wait till you see this star. It's so bad. But like I said, he was having fun. Uh, he kept asking me, oh, make this, make that. He asked me to make a snowman, so that's what I'm doing here. Started to make a snowman. This one is honestly my favorite one out of all of them, <laughs> how it came out. Um, because they're super bendable, so it was fine to do, like, a circle, but it was just really hard to make, like, some crisp edges. Um, so we made a little snowman with our little beads, and then he was begging me after this one to make a Christmas tree. So I did my best to make him a little Christmas tree. And we just did that for a while. It was super fun. So like I said, not a total fail because it's all about just having fun with your kids, making memories. They don't always have to come out perfectly. So I almost didn't share this, but then I thought, you know what, this is what it's all about. Just making your kids smile doesn't have to be perfect. He's literally three years old, you know, <laughs> he doesn't really care. And he just likes doing any kind of activities with me. So we had a lot of fun doing these. Like I said, to just get some better pipe cleaners and these will be a really fun little ornament to make. You can give them as gifts or just to hang on the tree. I thought these were super cute. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I hope you enjoy this cute little series. This Christmas countdown is what I plan on calling it. So we make a crock pot meal, cookie, and craft. And hopefully I will have 12 of these up for you guys to count down to Christmas, my favorite holiday. I am so obsessed with Christmas and I'm so excited for all of the holiday content coming up. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I have some really great holiday content coming out and please comment down below what your favorite Christmas tradition is. I'd love to hear about it. Have a good one. Bye.